Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It is just after seven and I have just walked in the door. It's been 12 hours I've been out the house and I'm exhausted. So I thought tonight we'd talk about reality. And by that I mean that, as I say, I've just walked in the door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step over to my upright freezer where, if you remember, we put some chicken steaks. Chicken steak. Air fryer. Chips. Air fryer. Oh, way too many chips. Goodness gracious. Sugar. Like a third of the bag fell out there. So, as I say, tonight we're talking reality because best will in the world, we've all got things that happen. And today was... Okay, pull that forward, put it on, 180 for 15 minutes and we're done. And we'll put them over in the other freezer later. So, Today was a busy day. It's a busy day at work. I got loads done, but my brain is fried. However, then the hospital phoned, so I had to go in and see mum, which, love her to bits, but she's hard work. Um, she's got dementia, so there's a lot of repeating. There's a lot of reassurance required. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, bye-bye. So off I went. Then my intention was to go and have dinner with Patrick. <clears throat> By that time it was already, you know, the back of six, nearly half past six. And so I texted him as I was leaving the hostel, going, mate, I know I've got to drop some all stuff off to you. Go and just come and meet me in the car because I'm just, I just want to get home. So, I'm home. I'm home. I'm hungry. I can't be bothered putting on the flames. So the gas cooker, eh, not gas cooker. The gas heater will be going on because it's cast iron as well, so that'll warm up the room fine. I've got... I need to go and feed the cat while my stuff's cooking. And I thought, do you know, I can either go and eat my dinner, make myself look presentable and come and be all chatty Cathy, or I can actually say, do you know something? This is what happens sometimes. Sometimes you're just exhausted and you just need to get through it. And one of the best the best things about prepping is all the stuff's there. I didn't need to go to the supermarket, I didn't need to go to the shops. As I was driving home, I was like, I've got the chicken steaks, I've got the chips, they can go in the air fryer, I've got the cat food, cat will be happy because the basket that's in the kitchen with her wet cat food was empty. So I had just gone upstairs and got some cat food. So the cat's fed, or will be fed shortly. I will be fed shortly. I may fall down shortly, the way I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, we all have these days. And they suck, royally. They really do. Um, and all you want to do is just get into your house and shut the door and go, just go and leave me alone for a while. Let me get myself reset. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to make myself a cup of tea Or possibly pour myself a vodka. It's it's a close run thing at the moment. Again, preps, fabulous because I have either or options. I'm going to have my dinner. I'm going to sit. And then the only thing I'll be doing to get out my chair for most of the night is to let the cat in. Because she's still out. So yeah, I hope your day has not been like mine. But I did think that... You seem to try to hold myself up here. I did think that it's only fair to say, do you know, sometimes these days happen. And we always get through them. Um, but don't for one minute think that I don't get them. I know most of the time I'm on with my hair brushed and going, hi, this is Karen from Prime of Midlife. And I love it. I really do. I love coming to tell you what I've been up to and what's been happening. And today I'm telling you, I'm exhausted. It's just been one of those days. 
possibly should not have sat up watching a movie till midnight last night. Normally I'm in bed at the back of 10. Last night I was watching a movie, so I stayed up till the back of midnight. Yes, it was the Hunger Games. I watched them all over the last two nights. Yes, I should have more sense. But you know when you just want something relaxing to watch that you've seen before and you just know that it's like, yeah, nothing's going to frighten me, nothing's going to scare me, I know what happened, so I'm all good. But let's watch it again. That's what I did. So let's not do that tonight. Tonight is going to be an early night, restful night. So I hope you have the same. And I will catch you later when I'm back to normal.